Hello everyone, this is Architect for Ableton's. Today in this tutorial I'm going to be going over how to use the selector plugin by Ableton's frequency shifter and spectrum analyzer to tune your kick drums to the root note of the song. So the very first thing that we want to do is we want to take our selector plugin that is on our kick drum MIDI channel. We want to load a sample. The cool thing about Selector is these left and right arrows will actually allow you to switch sounds. You can see how the sample is changing. You can actually switch sounds while your track is playing back. So let's take a listen. Click here. You load up your first sound. Hit open. I'm going to solo my kick drum real quick and we'll scroll through some of these sounds here. Okay, I really like kick 06, so I'm going to scroll back to that. That's the kick drum we will be using for our tuning today. So now that we get into the tuning, what we're going to do, we've got our kick drum selected here. Let's go ahead and pull up our spectrum analyzer. Let's see what key this is in. So we can see that our kick drum is in G, G0, 48.4 hertz. Now, if you look at our bass line here, the root note is in D. Now, you could make a harmonic selection, and your kick drum could either be in A, A sharp, G, or D. We're going to tune our kick drum that we've selected here to the root note of D. You can either use the frequency shifter plugin, or you can use transpose on the Ableton selector. We're going to do the transpose one first, so we need to go down five semitones in order to get from G to D. So let's just drag this down five semitones here. Let's take a listen to this now. And you can see now all of our information is right here, about 37 hertz, and it's in D. So let's A, B these. I have the same sample loaded up here in the second channel of Selector. So let me mute the first one that we've tuned, and let's listen to the untuned version. Okay, let's listen with our bass soloed with it now. You can tell how the low frequency information is much more glued together and much more punchy on the kick drum that we've tuned. So let's go ahead and let's turn this transpose off. Let's turn on our frequency shifter and let's take a look at where this kick drum is sitting. So we've got our kick drum sitting at G. What we want to do is we want to go over here. We want to go to D, which is about 12 hertz down. So let me take this. Let's type in negative 12 here. Let's take a listen now and see if the root notes are synced up. Okay, very nice. The next thing we want to do, let's come down here and check out our EQ8. So not very much information is going to be below 20 to 25 hertz. Let's double click this and let's pull this up. I've put a slight high pass filter on here that's at 30 hertz just to kind of roll off any rumble or anything that may be in the low end, just so it tightens everything up. Another thing that you can do, which would be called harmonic equalization, I'm going to turn on my frequency band here, which was at number 5, and if you can see here, this is at D6, or 2.35K, so since our root note of our song is at D, we would want to boost those frequencies, creating a more harmonically pleasing mix. So let's take a listen to this EQ. Now I'm going to turn off our frequency shifter, and I'm going to turn off our EQ8, and we're going to listen to what the original kick drum sounded like. And then the tuned kick drum. And then the tuned kick drum with EQ. I hope this tutorial has been very helpful. This has been Architect for Ableton. Thank you for listening.